Hey guys, we're the Penguin Ears Team 11454, and we recently did a weekend build where we built uh, this robot in 30 hours. And we already did a reveal video on it, but we just like to make a separate video where we break down each part, like the chassis, the lifting mechanism, the shooting mechanism, and the belt. So without further ado, uh, let's get right into it. So basically to summarize the chassis for our weekend build, um, we used a basic U-frame chassis, as you can see in here, and we have all of our wiring underneath our conveyor belt. And uh, we, as you can see, we have Omni wheels up front and then two drive wheels at the back with a gear system uh, right above the, our two expansion hubs. And uh, we did this really to just free up space um, for the conveyor belt in the front. Uh, we did Omni instead of Mechanum. Uh, we just thought uh, we used uh, an Omni drivetrain on our actual robot last year and it worked out kind of well. So we figured we'd just try it again for the weekend build and it also gave us more space. All right, so now onto our lifting mechanism. So right here we have our lifting mechanism and we use it to lift our entire intake system up and down. So as you can see, it has approximately a full 75 degrees of range of motion. And so you can see that what we do is we basically have this string right here and it's tied over here towards the middle of this bar. Um, this actually went through several iterations, but the reason it's tied here is because if we tie it too close, then we don't have enough mechanical leverage to lift it all the way up. But if we tie it too far away, then um, it'll just end up pulling horizontal and it won't be able to lift any higher than that. So we ended up tying it right here to this spool, which kind of winds it up and stores the string. And then over here, we have uh, this motor, which drives the spool. And we use a Tetrix motor because it has, it's one of the motors that we have that has the most torque. And then as you can see here, we also have uh, more gearing for torque just to make sure that we are able to pull this heavy lifting mechanism up and down. And so basically what we do is we just run this motor, it comes up, and then the shooting mechanism launches the ring. So in order to intake these rings into the robot, we use this front intake system, which are two wheels connected to a two never rest motors. And these motors have a four to one gearbox as opposed to the traditional 40 to one or 61 gearbox. This is because after we intake the ring with these wheels, we will then lift it to about a 45 degree angle. Because we use the four to one gearbox, that allows us to shoot about 21 inches higher than this point, giving us about a 37 inch total maximum height for when we shoot it into the high, middle, or low goals. All right, and I'm going more in depth into the shooter. Uh, it actually went through several iterations. Um, as you can see, it started out when we were trying to do uh, vertical wheels and we tried um, several different ways. You know, as you can see, we tried having two separate motors. We tried having one motor and gearing it up really fast, but ultimately we didn't have the correct size wheels and the right materials to be able to generate enough uh, you know, linear velocity to shoot that ring out. So um, what we eventually changed to is having sideways wheels, which you can see in our current design. And um, you know, obviously as Aiden said before, we have uh, the never rest motors with the four to one gearbox, as opposed to you know, a 60 to one or a 40 to one gearbox that would be uh, more typical or more prevalent. And you know, we just wanted to show this because uh, it shows the engineering process. You know, obviously this wasn't something that we were able to complete once. The majority of the first and second days of our weekend build were actually just, you know, taking these designs and prototyping, fixing, testing, stuff like that. After we intake, it goes up the conveyor belt, which is made out of duct tape because we can have the material in time for our weekend build. And we use a rev motor because it fits and a dead axle. And it intakes through up here. And this surgical tubing that's covered in duct tape holds it in so it doesn't fall out when we lift. And it um, helps push it out onto the ramp. All right guys, so this has been an in-depth look at our weekend build robot. And uh, we hope this can help you out for uh, the future in this season. So thank you for watching. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind.